That's it. Very good evening to you. The Royal Wedding. And traditionally, the BBC has always brought these occasions of pomp and majesty into the homes of the nation. The coronation in 1953 was the first time television cameras had been allowed into Westminster Abbey. In 1969, the BBC's new colour cameras covered a unique outside broadcast, the investiture of the Prince of Wales at Carnarvon. 1973 saw the wedding of Princess Anne, and BBC cameras recorded the happiness of the newly married couple. And 1977 was the Queen's Silver Jubilee year. A surge of public affection greeted the Sovereign. And in July last year, the nation paid tribute to the Queen Mother on the occasion of her 80th birthday. On July the 29th, the BBC will once again use its unrivaled expertise to televise the Royal Wedding. On two shortly, another fictional episode centred on the psychiatric ward at Maybury, where the staff respond to a cry for help from a couple who feel unable to venture outside their home. On BBC One, a 10.15 sports special, which includes highlights of the final day in the third test at Headingley, as well as coverage of the Royal International Horse Show. Sports special in 50 minutes. Now, rescue flight with Glyn Worsnip, the first reporter ever to live and fly with the search and rescue helicopter crews of 771 Squadron. Go! Go! 